I'm Julie, I'm the Badminton Director for Community Badminton. Today we're going to look at agility, balance and coordination exercises and how they can help you on the badminton court. Okay, for this first exercise we're going to need, you're going to need two objects. I've got cones but you can use anything at all. And all you're going to do is go round each cone with some side steps. Okay, are we ready? Try and keep nice and low. So you do a figure of eight around the cones and you're going to do that for eight times. Okay, now you're going to use uh, an object in your hand. I've got just a fluff ball, but you can use anything you like at all. So holding on to the ball with two hands, exactly the same thing, but going around the cones in the figure of eight. Okay. And again, you're going to do that eight times. Okay, still these two objects either side, you're now going to be touching the comb with your hand. Okay, here we go. Use your racket hand to start with. And relax. Now we're going to make it a little bit more badminton specific. So you might want to take your cones a little bit wider. And this time we're going to actually do a lunge. Okay, here we go. Touching the cone with my racket hand. And do that eight times as well. Okay, this next exercise we're going to look at balance. So you need an object on the floor with a, with a ball or screwed up piece of newspaper on top of it and you're just going to stand on one leg and pick up the ball. So I'm going to start with my, my racket leg and I'm going to pick up the object with my non-racket arm. Stay balanced. There we go. See if you can stay on that one leg to place it back. And relax and we're going to swap over. So we're going to balance on our non-racket leg collect the object with our racket arm. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to use my, my right hand. If you're, if you're left-handed, then your left arm would be your racket arm. Okay, here we go. Okay, stay balanced and try and pop the object back down again. And see if you can do that four times on each leg. Okay, the next exercise, we're going to look at some ladder drills. Now I've got some cones on the floor, but you can use anything, any objects at all. Something quite low down so you don't trip over it. And we're going to do some um, agility, balance and coordination. It all comes together in this exercise. And it's really good to get you faster. And especially when you're changing directions on the badminton court. Okay, so first one we're going to do is two feet in each space of the cones. Okay, here we go. Gentle jog back. And then we're gonna go again. Try and drive with your arms. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And relax. Okay, now let's try a little, another exercise. This time it's feet apart feet together, a little, bit, a little bit like a split step. Down you go. Just walk back, get ready to go again. You notice that one, I went a little bit too fast. I wasn't as coordinated. So my legs were actually not quite in the gap. So we're going to do that one again. Make sure you're doing your split step within the gap. Don't have to do this one fast to start with. Okay. Next one is, next one is some side stepping around the cones, keeping low. 
and relax, walking back. And go again. Back. Okay, next one. See if you can do two feet together. Relax. And go again, another one. Sideways, feet up but sideways. Go again. And try the other way, sideways. Okay, and last one is, is like a shuttle run where you're going to touch the cone and come back to the start. So, come back, come back, come back. And then run back. And rest. Okay, another one for your coordination. You're going to throw up a ball or a shuttle or any other object and catch it with the other hand. So I'm going to use my non-racket hand to throw, catch on my racket. Okay. Try the shuttle. Try that again. Make sure you swap hands to have a go at both. See if any, anything's more tricky for you. Throwing up with my racket hand, catching with my non-racket hand. So it definitely feels harder for me. This is why it's really good to practice using both sides of, of our body as well. Let's try the shuttle. Okay, and have a go at that five times through on each side. Okay, that's the end of the session today. I hope you enjoyed it and see you again soon.